Alright, and welcome back to Let's Play Alpha Protocol. It's really hot in here, so if I sound exasperated, that's why. Uh, air conditioning's broken again. So let's check our email. Uh, we don't have anything. It's been a while since I played, so I'm not really up to speed on uh, what ha I have done and what I need to do. Uh, once I see the missions, though, I'll remember. What am I doing? I still need a first aid kit. Yeah, just to bring myself up to 10. It's always nice to have a nice large stockpile of those just in case you need them. So what we're going to do is we're going to go downstairs and see what kind of missions we got. Okay, we got ruins and where else we're going to do ruins. Okay, so. We just need to go get some information off the computer is the gist of things. Uh, also model will not attack us. And there are some weapons caches we can get rid of uh, for extra experience. We're not too far off from a level, if I remember correctly. So we need to uh, just do everything we can to get that extra experience. close by. It's a nice ride. Looks like Al Samad was right. One of their cells is operating here. Like I said, the Al Samad cell, or Al Samad guys are friendly. They won't attack us. Um, so we can just, you know, walk right up to this next objective point right here and get in. Trying to take in all the sites I see. Good to see how the renovations are going. But that's all the Al Samad guys will actually see. No one visits ruins but Michael Thornton. No one. Except for Alice Mob guys, which I can't really attack. Or they'll come after me and I really just don't feel like it. So, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna look around for things because things are nice. Over here is a weapon cache. Don't need these munitions, but that's one. I really don't like that, you know, Mike skips his conversation if you go on ahead and hit it. But I wasn't gonna just sit around and wait for him to finish talking about it, so. Those look like Marburg's men. That can't be good. Any idea what they're up to? No, but I'm gonna find out. Got that guy, but those two are still a problem. And they see us. So. As soon as I remember how to play the game, I will get right to work on getting these guys to our favorite skill, martial arts. I really do like playing martial arts, too, even though it does, you know, make you get up close and personal. There are some moves that really make it worthwhile. And there's where we can fix an alarm if they, if they pop up, which I'll try not to make them happen, but they, there's no guarantee. It might be a bit dark in here, but um, that's just fraps being fraps. What we're looking for is we're looking for two more weapons caches and whatever goodies we can find uh, in the ruins. Uh, there are quite a lot of things here that you can get. It's uh, really easy to uh, find everything you need. There's some guy over here. There's actually more than just this guy. So you need to be kind of quick. There's another weapons cache over there if you saw it while I was turning. And that's when this guy decides to jump down. I'm like, no, sir, you don't get to jump down today. Don't break schedule. But he did, so and there's going to be another guy. Uh, coming out that way, who's gonna catch me by surprise, probably. Yeah. Two guys. I was not expecting. Oh well. A judo chop to the throat solves everything, so we're good to go there. And it's always good to check these side rooms just in case, make sure there's nothing there. Oh, I missed that ammo. It's one of the large ammo crates that gives you assault rifle ammo and pistol ammo. Always good to find those. Uh, they're kind of rare, but other, you know, otherwise they're pretty good. Sorry about that. I had to adjust my mic. That's another one. Now the third one doesn't come up for just a little bit, but we have to go down that ladder. So let's do that. What is this place? Probably where they kept the fires to heat up the bath water. 
So, you majored in architecture? No. Ancient Roman plumbing with a minor in architecture. This is why I, this is another reason why I like Mina is she's just snarky enough Your to not be in the way. Must be the ghosts down here. Are you in the catacombs? Yeah, but not for much longer. Don't want to pick up any curses. Okay, he spotted me. The other guy did not. There's something on the wall there, but I want to get to this guy before he um, gets away. And I'll just leave it. It's probably nothing big. Okay, and now smoothing screws me over again. That's okay. Less casualties is alright too. And I have an interesting little battle with the wall there. So let's take a look around here before we go around jumping down. I think the last one. Oh, there's a safe. I think the last cache is not too far from here. So uh, the the next half of this mission that takes place down there is basically defending a computer, and it's really slow paced and kind of not fun. But here's the last weapons cache. That's the last of the weapons. So if you want to do that for yourself, now you know where all of them are. Um, they're not really too hard to find as long as you take the time to look around. We are now level 8. Excellent. Uh, by the end of the game, we should be around level 20-ish. So. Hope the world doesn't end up like this if Halbeck fucks it up. Full of scaffolding? Anyway, um, there are dudes, obviously. We don't like dudes. And there are too many dudes in this place. So I will be a bad enough dude and take them all out. I need to start using my heavy tank more often. Uh, starting the alarm kind of sucks because we were almost at the end of the mission. Basically right after this, kind of interesting battle with the air there. But right after this um, little section here, uh, the mission is over with. It's a really short one, it's really easy. And it's a nice little, t um, it's a nice little diversion that gives you lots of freebies. So, I'm going to and check around make sure there's frame rate issues. That's one thing we should check to make sure. Uh, but there's also saves over here that we can open that have quite uh, quite interesting rewards in them. I'm not sure if it's this one or the other one that has the really good reward in it. Yeah, that one's not what I wanted. What I want is in this save. And this is something everyone should get, um, since it's right, you know, it's right out in the open, it's right near the computer you need to hack. You should see it, and you should want to hack it, and not mess up. Fifteen thousand dollars and twenty-five experience. Always nice to have a little extra cash, so we'll go ahead and get that. And but we can go ahead and hack the computer. I think I think we got everything, except that little health thing right there that we don't really need. And try to decide whether I want to hack it or just use the MP, but uh, I figure I'll just go ahead and hack it for the experience. I'm not sure if using uh, sabotage will prevent you from uh, getting the experience from a hack. Uh, I haven't used it too much. I've got a link to all the transmissions to this station, and I'll need some time to trace the signal's origin. So I just stand here and wait. Sorry about now that. you know how I feel. Just make sure nothing interferes with the station until I finish the trace. Then? Then? What then? We've got trouble, don't we? Protect the trace, Mike. If we lose it now... Don't worry, they're not getting anywhere near it. Okay, so now there's just going to be a swarm of dudes that we have to handle. Um, but as I was talking about sabotage, sabotage is a nice safety net for those of you who just don't want to do a mission or in a hurry. Uh, one of the hacking mini games to be kind of tough. Someone just messaged me on Steam. Fantastic. And that's what I did for not turning off, um, or turning myself to offline. So there may be a couple more blips. Hopefully they aren't too loud. And now I'm getting hit by pretty much everyone. Um, I just need to punch everyone. You can do this a lot easier if you're willing to stick to range. Um, you can just find a nice place where you can get lots of cover and pick people off as they come in. It's particularly good, uh, particularly easy if you're specializing in assault rifles. Now I know how the soldiers of the Alpha felt. Hold on, Mike. I almost have it. 
All right, so basically we're almost done. I forget that gadgets are ma mapped to G instead of Q, and I accidentally use chain shot on nothing, so. I, I really just do not like the yellow filter they put over everything when you go into chain shot. I kind of just wish it would have like a blurred edge or something. Got it. We're good, Mike. Transmitting the information to the safe house. All right, so that is that. That's all we need to do for this mission. A nice little 500 experience boost. Mike, what did you do? Erasing my tracks and the weapons. All right. So we got all the side quests done for that mission. Um, that will really help us when we start and leave. And it wouldn't be action movie as unless we popped a wheelie, so. One extra explosion for the road. Got everything done. Most effective weapon hands. Only one casualty. Or only one fatality, I suppose. Injuries to be counted as casualties. Sorry, long day. I imagine. They're airing reports on a shootout at the ruins, and while they're not admitting anything, the word is that it was a terrorist cell. There weren't any reports of you being taken into custody, though, so I wasn't sure what had happened. They spotted me at the ruins, so I had to think quickly. I got the intel I needed, but it made getting out a lot harder. Are you hurt? No. Just need to get my second wind. I have to get to the warehouse soon before the leads grow cold and Marburg moves the evidence out. I'm still running on adrenaline anyway. I noticed you had medical supplies in the cabinet. If you want, I could... I don't need medical attention. I'm fine. Do you ever slow down? You've been running yourself ragged ever since I've met you. If you're always like this... I have to be. These people I'm after, they're on a timetable I'm still trying to catch up with. You'll catch them, Mike. I know it. I think you're about the best break I've had in catching them since I arrived in Rome. Thanks. You should get some sleep, Madison. Okay, so we leveled up. It's not really too hard to um, get reputation with Madison, even though she's not that important. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, she was kind of thrown in as a bad thing. Okay, basically what I do here is I mess up. I remember uh, promising myself that I was going to put more points in martial arts, but instead I buy a rank in pistols that I don't need or don't need right away. So I end up clicking no instead, and then having to go back into uh, the service record to re-level myself up. So sorry you're having to see this twice, but I kind of screwed up. Buy another rank. We want to just get a few more ranks in martial arts so we can get the uh, jump kick. The jump kick is really nice. But anyway, uh, next time on Let's Play Alpha Protocol, we go do the warehouse mission because it's the only one we got uh, left for right now.